All right, here we are in the village town of Oriskany, New York. It was on this hot day in August on the 6th of 1777. General Herkimer and his troops came from Little Falls, about 40 miles to the east, to uh, aid at Fort Stanwix in Rome, about another six miles from this point. A militia with about 800 men that General Herkimer had organized had uh, gathered at his home in Little Falls. And General Herkimer's troops entered the ravine at this point. When I say a ravine, it's a slanty hill here. Goes down, there's a small creek at the bottom. See down there, you can see the sloping hill. Now this path that the Park Service has put here is a an S trail that goes down very... Uh, not so steep, but the original path would have been a six foot wide path where the men would have been three abreast and marching. Well, Joseph Brandt knew that these men would be coming and aiding them, aiding the men at Fort Stanwix. So he knew he could ambush them down in the ravine down here, down there, a little creek at the bottom of this hill. The ravine down to the end is a creek and then on the other side it slopes back up. Now there was a corduroy road down here, which is probably if you're familiar with that, what corduroy road was made with logs to go across the road. Made it easier to travel and traverse um, over swamps and wooded areas. But these men were not an organized army, remember. They were a militia. They were volunteers. And they weren't in formation three abreast. They were scattered throughout, walking, going, heading on down to where they were going. And uh, during the ambush, it was a little bit uh, chaotic for the the uh, Joseph Brandt and his warriors attacking because it wasn't the simple uh, formed columns like he thought they might be. So here's the path the way it used to be. They've changed it. They put a little S in it over here to make it a little less steep. We're going to um, head down to the ravine. We'll be down there in just a minute for part two of the Battle of Oriskany.